Hey guys, we're going to do my standard pickups. This one is in particular an interesting topic to talk about. Uh, for the most part, I like cards that trade easily and trade in play sets. Mainly because sometimes a trade doesn't really get done and you need to just add a few extra cards to incentivize the trade. To push the trade a little bit and give up maybe perhaps a little bit of value on your end to secure a trade, especially when you're trading up. Um, so these are just some cards I picked up. And these are not standard, but you kind of get what I'm, where I'm going. These were just extra pickups. I don't know why I picked them up. But four art cards, especially the game day versions of them, are very good to trade into. Uh, definitely you have the Oaf. So you have a bunch of these. Um, this one's from Origin, so no one's really trading for Origins. I believe this is not opened. And Status, which is kind of playable. So even though players may or may not want these particular cards, as a extra or a throw-in, they make trades a lot easier to happen because sometimes you're a dollar or 50 cents uh, different, or even two dollars difference. Uh, you can just throw in a place of these and it doesn't really matter. These are extremely easy to get your hands on. And I just never have any issue. Uh, sometimes I'll buy them from TCG player and then use them as trade. It's not like they're trading for the card. They're just trading for some, something else. But the math sometimes doesn't work, especially when you do volume. And these really help balance uh, the trade and a lot of times players just want exactly identical values which is understandable but it takes a lot of math and sometimes the cards don't equal each other and you're off by a few dollars uh, instead of not doing the trade i'd rather do the trade and throw in some cards as extras i like these these are trading extremely well i think the artwork is pretty good and definitely the glare is trading very well. So these two particular uh, full art cards were, I believe they're the game day card. So if you finished a in the top, or you participated, you would get one of these game day cards. And then if you finished in the top eight, uh, you would get the full art card. So I like them a lot. They make it very easy to trade. Uh, they make trades extremely easy if it's off by a dollar two, and they're very liquid. I never, um, I'm never concerned about having extras in my binder because they have eternal value. It's not like they are going to see play in modern, but they have eternal value for the casual crowd, and they are very easy to trade to EDH players, uh, even if they're not great. And definitely these are some other ones. Um, Banisher Priest is a very beautiful card. And I think that's why I picked it up because I haven't really, I don't remember seeing this promo ever, but it is a gorgeous card. So why not pick up some? But yeah, you can buy these on TCG Player and then put them in your binder and throw them in as extras to incentivize trades. And a lot of times uh, casual players, these are, they will actually trade for these cards in particular because they love it. and. It's not EDH casual players, it's kitchen table casual players who really do enjoy the artwork. Uh, they could care less about what the card actually does, they just want to play with full art cards. And this is the cheapest way to give that to them. Anyway, bye guys.